Happy Friday, everybody. It's me, your long nail friend, Anna. I'm just trying to tell y'all, um, have a happy weekend. I just came from DMV because, you know, they tried to give me a speeding ticket when I wasn't even speeding, so I fought that ticket. They adjourned it for another year, which is funny. So, as you can see, I'm wearing my little hat because I can't afford to get sick because um, I'm about to have another procedure done, so I have to make sure my health stays good. Um, I just wanted y'all to see, I had to clean out my nails. See, look, they clean and unbend them a little because they were getting too bendy, especially my thumbs. They were starting to hurt me a little bit. And I'm sorry I'm in the car, but this is the only free time I have before I go upstairs and then I'll be with my family for the weekend. Now, I didn't put anything crazy. I just have, I don't know if you can tell, there's like a little sheer color on it. It's called bubble gum. I put that on it, which is one of my favorites. It's either bubble gum or cotton candy. I don't remember if I did it last night. So you can see a little of the sheerness. And look, look how long this bad boy is getting. All right, so I'm doing all this so y'all can see. I'm going to give y'all a little clicking. And then let's see here. Now you see, um, it's raining outside today. So I'm going to try to put some color on it. Maybe a little design or something. I'm not sure, but I may just leave it like this for a little bit. So, Because people are always asking me um, to leave my nails like a light color or something so that they can see. And you can see that they're natural. They're really mine, see? Look, no numbers, no numbers. And um, this is what I look like when I wear a hat. I forgot, you ha I hardly ever come outside with a hat. I usually have it in a bun or I leave it loose, something like that. So this is me in the car. And um, let's see, some questions were asked to me, so I'm going to try to address them. First of all, um, how do I cook? I cook the same way you do. The only thing is that I hold the knife a little sideways like this. But yes, I can cook when I decide to cook. I'm retired and my child is 20 years old, so I really don't feel I need to cook for his big butt because um, it's his time to take care of mama. So I cook whenever I feel like it. The other day I made um, chicken alfredo with broccoli sauce and everything all together. I could cook that. I could throw down with some rice and beans. You know, I'm Puerto Rican, so we have to throw down with our Spanish food. Let, let's see what else they ask me. Um, how do I handle when I wash my hands after I cook the, the gook under my nails and stuff like that when you're cooking and you're doing all that mixing? First of all, as I do each step, I wash my hands. I have a little bit of OCD with my hands because I don't know if you guys know, I am diabetic and I have a few um, other health issues. So I have to make sure that my skin and my hands are always, always clean because any little thing could cause me to get an infection. So now based on that, I always carry a little toothbrush that I use to clean under my nails because, you know, sometimes you're in a restaurant and you're eating something really good like sticky chicken fingers and um, the BBQs has these delicious, I don't know if you guys are familiar with BBQs, but up here we have a BBQs and um, they have these delicious, delicious um, big jumbo honey wings that gets under your nails and oh lord it is a mess so i go to the bathroom with my my soap that i carry which is antibacterial soap and i take my little brush and i scrub under there scrub under everything scrub under even my jewelry because i don't want nothing in my fingers and that's how i keep my hands clean at all times and um for those that keep asking me about the bathroom if you don't know how i go to the bathroom then you need to take a lesson on how you go to the bathroom because hygiene is hygiene regardless if you have claws or not i keep myself clean at all times why like i stated i am a woman and i also have diabetes and i also have a few other health issues cleanliness has to be important for all of us whether you have long nails or not so stop asking me oh my god how do you go to the bathroom you must not do anything because i find that so annoying i've had them for 30 years don't you think i know how to do stuff by now i do um i already told y'all before i work on the car some of you if you look at my previous videos you will see i even crochet i do my own hair i get dressed um I'm not going to sit up here and act like everything is all good. There's certain things I can't do and I need help with sometimes. Like shoelaces take me a little bit of time because, you know, I have to curve it in there and curve it out, you know, do all that. But I can still do them. And there's also Velcro. Let's not forget Velcro is a woman with long nails best friend. Uh, I do everything I have to do on my own. Bathe, just fine. Wash my hair, just fine. Do my makeup. See, I have a little makeup on today. Not too much because I'm not much into that makeup. But look, I like how my eyes came out today. See? So I did a little bit of makeup because I was in court and I didn't want to look ugly for the judge. So I wanted to look decent and respectful. And um, it is a little chilly out here up in New York. It's in the 30s and the 40s and it's raining. So that's why I have a turtleneck, a scarf, my little sweater. But um, at the end of the day, it's all good. God is good and I am grateful for everything that I have. But I just wanted to try to see, this is me. I just did my nails. It took me, actually, I'm not going to lie. Maria takes her like about four hours to do my nails. But when I do them at home... 
it takes me about two days because one day is just me taking off all the excess acrylic as you can see now they're not so bendy you see they still curve of course you know they're still gonna curve but they're not so bad so i hope you enjoy my little video and my little talk about everything that's going on up here if you have questions i mean normal questions like some of you have asked me some good stuff and i hope i've answered and um to all the new subscribers thank you i really appreciate it mwah, mwah. thank you for subscribing to my channel and um, i'm gonna try to do more videos i don't know if I'm going to change my polish right now. Because right now I'm kind of liking this little bubble gum. You know. I think it's bubble gum or cotton candy. I can't remember for sure. But I think it's cotton candy. Because it's like a, a iridescent white color. Can you see? I'm not sure if, you can, if it comes off on the camera. But it's an iridescent white color. And this is to show you that yes. They really are my nails. You see. Mine, mine, all mine. 30 years and counting. And um. Thank you for all the get well wishes. I'm working on getting better. I've dropped like almost 30 pounds since I've had my procedure done. And uh, my goal is to lose maybe 40 more just so I could come off of certain medications and stay healthy and, you know, be happy in my life. Again, any questions you want to ask me, feel free to ask me questions. It's just that um, sometimes it's common sense. If you know that I have long nails, why would you tell me? First of all, oh, they're too long, cut them. They're not your nails. I'm not cutting my nails because it makes you uncomfortable. That's your shit, not mine. My shit is, I love my long nails. If I decide to cut them, it's for my choice. Not because you're telling me that they make you uncomfortable. That's your baggage, not mine. My shit is, I like my nails long. I like my tattoos, can you see? And I'm covered in tattoos. It's just that it's hot, so you won't see them now. I mean, once it gets hot, you'll see them. But it's kind of chilly. And um, I'm getting another one because I don't know if you're aware of it. My brother passed away in January. And I want to get a tattoo in memory of my brother, who's my best friend in the universe. And I miss him terribly. So I think I've caught you up on everything. I didn't go to physical therapy today because, again, like I said, I was at the Department of Motor Vehicles. But I will be going back to therapy Monday. I go Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I get... um other things too to take me off of certain medications because let me tell you the medications the side effects are worse than the cure so um i'm trying to do a lot of things holistically so i'm learning how to do certain things now i went from i'm staying away from certain things that are making me sick so that's a good thing and i do mean people places and things because that does make you ill at times also being around the wrong type of people could suck your energy so remember that also people and I just wanted to tell you again, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my page. Thank you. Um, if you have other friends that are into the nail thing and I could use more subscribers because, you know, that would be nice for me. I would appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm sorry about my steering wheel being here. But people don't believe I could drive. Yes, this is my little car. I have an uh, old car, but I love my car. She's 19 years old and she is a good, good car. And this is me tapping on my steering wheel. I hope you like it. This is it. So, I gave you a nice little long video. It's eight minutes of me letting y'all know what's going on. And I'm not ranting or anything. I hope I don't come across as ranting or anything. I just wanted y'all to know. Thank you for um, being part of my little nail world. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know that I also have an Instagram page and a Facebook page. Same name, Anna Otano. On the BK Nails 923 is um, Instagram, though. BK Nails 923 takes me back to my olden days, back when I was on AOL. I'm an old school OG nail girl. So um, take care, everybody. I'm going to go upstairs and chill out with my niece, who I love very much because I haven't seen her. Shout out to Linda. Oh, and my nieces, Sydney and Jocelyn. All, all of you guys, I love you all. I love my family so much. They're wonderful. So have a good weekend, everybody. And look, this is, I like doing this too. Believe it or not, I do this to myself when I get stressed out. Look, and it really relaxes me too. And I do it on my scalp. Sometimes, I, you know, and it keeps the, makes the blood move around a little bit. See, I just do it like this. I hope you like this video because, and this is my nails. I'm sorry there's no, no bling right now, but this is what I do. Maria is the only person that's allowed to bling out my nails because she knows exactly what I like. But this is me being simple and humble. And now you can see, I hope you really get to see this because I really do love this color. It's so simple, but it's so me. All right, everybody. Have a blessed weekend. And I hope, you know what I don't like when I do my video and it comes out and you see this. Why does that happen every time I do a video? 
I come out looking like a doofus. I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to end my video and hopefully it'll show nicely. Have a blessed, blessed weekend and take care of yourselves and feel free to ask me questions again because I want to do a QA and a that I can go live and answer. But some I don't know how you guys are going to know when I'm on live. So take care. God bless. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye. Right, here's a little more clicking here. Yeah. Stay blessed, stay blessed, stay blessed. Bye, everybody.